All right, guys, we're getting this question a lot, and it was a great question, so just wanted to answer it here on the Raw channel. I reviewed the Sopwith Camel here. We have the propeller here, and we know the pilot will sit back here, and then here's the machine gun, and as you notice, the machine gun is right behind the propeller. So a lot of people were asking, doesn't the machine gun bullets hit the propeller, wouldn't that destroy the plane, cause problems? So I looked it up, wanted to give you guys an answer on that. And that was a great question. And the answer is, at the beginning, they used to make deflector plates on the back of the propellers. So the bullets would still fire, but it would deflect off. So it may not be real useful when that happened, but at least it wouldn't destroy the propeller. And after a while, they got more advanced, and they were able to... Um, make it so that when this was the case, the machine gun just didn't fire at all. But when this was the case, it would fire. So there would be times maybe the enemy was in the sight, but they couldn't get it because at that exact moment, the propeller was in the way. But obviously this happens so fast, it's microseconds we're talking, that for the most part you'd get some bullets out of there. Um, so that was a great question. So that's the answer. After a while, they were able to coordinate and synchronize the propeller location with the machine gun firing so that it would not hit the propeller. Now, I'm sure a lot of testing, a lot of problems from time to time where they had to get that right. But eventually, as they advanced this model, they did get it right. So great question. There's your answer.